Ladies and gentlemen, there are only two ways to break through financially. Only two. And unfortunately, prayer is not one of them. Fasting is not one of them. Anointing oil is not one of them. The two ways to break even financially, you must have a product, you must have a service. Please, the church should graduate from prophecies. You will drive cars you did not buy. Amen. God is going to bless you. Amen. The doors of nations are open. These are powerful prophecies. I like them. But this book here is a book of prophecies. These prophecies will never be converted if we don't live. Amen. I receive. I claim. For five, ten years, you have been claiming what came out. Nothing. Because you can't abbreviate the process. You can't break the rules. You must have product or service. I give you an example. When you go to Forbes and they tell you Elon Musk is the richest man in the world, they will tell you the service is rendering to mankind and the product is delivering to his generation. Am I talking to someone here? Bill Gates is the richest man in the world. Microsoft. They will tell you exactly the value they have added to humanity. They will tell you Ali Kodangote is the richest man in Africa. They will tell you about Smith. They will tell you about uh, sugar. They will tell you about the product. The question is, I have prayed for you. I have prophesied on your head. What product and service do you have that God will now stand upon to bring to pass this prophecy? So, no matter the prophecy and amen, if you don't have product, you don't have service, you are a comedian. You are a joker. This is where the charismatic have missed it. On Monday morning, when people are busy making them part in the stock market, in different platforms, making things happen, people are gathering for anointing service. Monday morning, when active minds are busy, adding value to generation, to their generation, people are gathered by 9 a.m. on Monday morning doing, I claim, I receive. Oh, what an embarrassment and humiliation to the body of Christ. I saw one advert. He said, 100 days all night. <laughs> Oppression, take it by force. Now, can I tell you something? After every spiritual exercise, do a review. What came out? You must ask yourself. After the prophecy, the drama, the deliverance, ask what was I delivered from? Only a fool who doesn't ask questions. Only a fool who doesn't think. If you don't think, you will stink. If you stink, you sink. Only a fool who doesn't ask questions. Somebody can keep giving you the same prophecy for 10 years. You are not asking questions. Is it adding to my life? Wisdom, what?